I was down one nothing to North Village, and Mr. Botello, you see North Village ushering their their troops out. And this game, the second half is about to underway. We'll see what type of halftime talks and what effect it has had on both sets of players. North Village to resume the match, and the ref blows his whistle. Now Phyllis playing the ball back, very organized, keeping this shape. Mr. Patello with a little mistime kick. The ball just goes out for Hamilton Parish. Number 41, good control, has a man in the space. He decides to go down the line and may regret that decision as the ball has gone over the touch for a goal kick. See, North Village, I wouldn't want to call it time delaying, but they know that time is on their side. Because when the whistle blows, if no one scored, they will have won this game. Hamilton Parish defense letting the ball get through there. And this one whistles almost from a nothing play just past the goalkeeper's post. Hamilton Parish organizing themselves for this goal kick, sending their players up the field. They know they must score to continue in this tournament. Ball's kicked down to the goalkeeper of North Village, who sends it up high and hard. This bounce down to the skipper of Hamilton Parish. He plays a delightful ball out the center. Well, first time ball. It's a nice long shot from a distance. The keeper stops it. And this one goes out for a Hamilton Parish throw in. Now this is a chance for Hamilton Parish to attack. Let's see what they do. I see they've got just one man defending in their half. They've pushed up almost all their players. It's a little opportunity, and, and North Village just has enough men to, to, to shut it down. You've got to give credit to North Village for being very organized, very disciplined, not falling in the box, staying on their feet, and making a Hamilton Parish player do something. Hamilton Parish attacking, number 41. He's showing great promise. If he can cross the ball, a good cross could be trouble. Good defensive stop by the North Village number 10, uh, Mr. Richardson, who I say has had a fine game so far. Benjamin Jones is heading that one out of touch for North Village. This one's back down. Hamilton Parish and North Village. North Village with a shot. This one falls right into the keeper cradles it and immediately delivers it. Hamilton Parish. Some excellent footwork by North Village, Mr. Botello. Oh, just his pass, just couldn't find his player. And Mr. Richardson takes a shot from deep. Mr. Richardson. Well, I tell you, this, this is really what we came out here for today. The action cannot get any better. It's the highest caliber of football, the Kappa tournament has brought out of these players they're trying with all their might and now North Village with the corner Hamilton Parish need to defend the keeper gets a hand to it it's halfway cleared little pass back and this player decides he wants to dribble out of his half a very good ball Hamilton Parish have an opportunity he goes down and the ref the ref is, is, is scratching his head the ref hasn't hasn't made any immediate motions yet. And now, now he's pointed to the spot. It's a penalty shot for Hamilton Parish. Could this be the moment that Hamilton Parish has waited for? Could they equalize and send North Village into certain, certain upset? Because they were leading, they were looking comfortable, they had a good Two opportunities to put the game away. Now can Hamilton Parish equalize at this very crucial stage? Yes, they can, ladies and gentlemen. And Hamilton Parish, the captain, he leads by example. Captain Fantasy runs down in his half to all his supporters. He jumps, thumps a fist in the air. And you can see a whole cloud has blown right over. And the sun is definitely shining on Hamilton Parish. Workman's Club right now, as North Village have, have to dig deep 
if they are to get something out of this game. It's one all now. Hamilton Parish, North Village. North Village scored from uh, Benjamin Jones was the goal scorer. And Hamilton Parish's captain sent the penalty home. And now Hamilton Parish definitely have new energy. But this Mr. Richardson, oh, he just dances past three players. Gerard Richardson is really a talent for North Village. Hamilton Parish pushing, pushing on the counter. What can, what can they make come of it? What, what excitement, what excitement, what excitement. They're, they're, this is football at its best. Under eights, playing hard, playing true, playing for not only themselves, but for the honor of their club. And that's a good clearance, because the pressure was on for Hamilton Parish. Goalkeeper of Parish finds himself in a little bit of trouble, but he gets himself out of it. And Jared Richardson sends this one, another deep one. Just want to highlight Mr. Richardson. I've noticed him on a few spells of play. Some very good link up. Good dribbling skills. Just once of a pass every now and then, but that's to be expected. Kind of hard to keep your head up when you're dribbling so well. Hamilton Parish again sending men forward. And number nine, as he cuts back, he's just swarmed by the North Village. Obviously, the North Village coach has sent out the matches, defend and defend well. You see North Village have everybody back in their half at this moment. And Hamilton Parish are coming through with some type of person. Just a little mix up there. It's an opportunity to have a hit. And it almost one player blocking their own player. Hamilton Parish still trying. North Village defending well. North Village the tricks that these ch children pull off, I, 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 could, I haven't even seen before. Some of them are stepping over, pulling the ball back. Jamaican rolls, very, very skillful young, youngsters. Bermuda's future does look bright for football um, from what I can see. A lot of talent. A lot of talent and a lot of love for the game and passion. And here we go, Hamilton Parish, bringing the ball forward, number 41. The, ooh, it looked like he was taken down there. And the ref awards the free kick to the captain, who really has led by example. He's led his team from a goal down, scores the penalty, and ju just missed a creative, creative kick there. Very, very exciting stuff. Is this going to go to penalties, Mr. Woods? That's the next question. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. What you think? No, it will be exciting. You know that. The fans here are very lively. Yes. The players are playing some good football. Are they ever? Are they ever? I've noticed that almost the entire Spectres have congregated towards this game as, as they've just picked my head up for a moment. And it, it looks like cup match in this corner, ladies and gentlemen. You have a very strong support showing of people trying to be right on the edge of the field. Mr. Richardson with his usual display of footwork. There's a good, good cleaning up by number six of North Village. Hamilton Parish, though, still have an opportunity. Takes a long shot and is collected and distributed by the goalkeeper. Hamilton Parish, just a little missed time. North Village again attacking. The ball comes. Ooh. Ball just stays in. Now it's a North Village throw in. North Village went into the lead early in the first half. A lovely counterattack goal. And Hamilton Parish equally equaling. In the first 12 minutes, a good first touch by the striker. Just let down a little bit by a second touch. He's still alive though, back post. And this, this is too good. This is just too good to watch. This is really too good to watch. The skill by some of these players, is, it almost leaves you breathless. Absolutely fantastic. Just a little unfortunate at the crucial time he lost his footing. 
the Hamilton Parish player. Otherwise, that was a sure clear opportunity. Mr. Richardson to take the ensuing goal kick for North Village as the sun comes out of our lovely field here. The goalkeeper is going to let this one go out for a goal kick. And also, we found out who's going to be in, in some of the, the rest of the finals for today. In the under 10, we have Valencia Blue and Dandy Tom. Uh, in the under 12, we have uh, North Village again and BAA Green. Okay. And then in the under 14, we have Dandy Tom and Valencia Orange. Uh -huh. So Valencia has made a strong showing this year. Yes, they have. Especially in the competition, they've made it to, what, two finals? Yeah, they, that is very good. I mean, um, maybe that's a record, eh? <laughs> they're, setting, they're setting some very high standards at the Valencia Football School, of course, Academy. Uh, with two teams going in the finals at their first crack at it. Um, probably be a surge in registration in, in, in the next fall. So. It has. But they have a great program, man. Well structured program, man. Indeed. Indeed. Kind of paying dividends mm -hmm. in this tournament. We'll see if they can pull it off yeah. in the last game of the yeah. day. But it, it, so far, they are they are representing themselves very well. It, it would it would be very interesting to commentate that game. I've never commentated a Valencia game before. <laughs> <laughs> As Hamilton Parish and North Village continue their fest. Exactly. And in the far field, we can see Valencia over there still practicing their drills. Aha. Uh -huh. Now that is discipline. Right during the tournament, they're still practicing their drills. Seems like they're trying to do uh, one touch or, or two touches, which is. Uh, the way some of the top, top football teams in the world play their trade. Hamilton Parish sending a lot of men forward. But can they be exposed again? Good cleanup work by the defense, but it's not really out yet. Still staying in it. Is that, ooh, North Village came so close to a, a winning goal, I believe, because I believe the next goal will be the winning goal. Um, this game is really, really, really exciting. I mean, if our, if our local Premier League was this exciting, I'm sure you can get more, more fans <laughs> out to the game. I'm sure. I, 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 you'll probably have people camping out before games. Um, such is the commitment and honesty and respect um, for the game that a, a, a person who doesn't even really appreciate or even know much football can enjoy it because you can see the passion, you can see the trying, and, and you can just see the, the sweat in, in the competition, the honest, true competition. Um, it's so nice to see people shaking hands, respecting the umpire's decision, and moving on with the game. And that's because that's all what we came out here for. Really fantastic. Hamilton Parish with a lucky break. What can they make of it? Ooh, seems just that final ball is just lacking a little bit. Very good step over. This could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. <laughs> Hamilton. Yes, yes. And that's and that's that's our fourth penalty. <laughs> it's becoming so much of a habit. Uh, I guess that's what happens when strong teams meet other strong teams. A penalty or a draw. But as we know, this is a tournament and we must have a winner. Hamilton Parish will be talking to their players, trying to calm them, prepare them for what lies ahead. Maybe some of the most important moments. Well, you can feel the tension in the air. Sometimes you learn quite a bit about yourself in defeat and learn how to come back stronger and, and improve on your weaknesses. So there's always something to be learned. As we have a goalkeeper uh, from North Village taking the first penalty, the ref's just about to blow the whistle. As he steps up, good clean strike of the ball, hits the side netting, and that was almost impossible to save. So that's one nothing in the penalties. And North Village have scored first. Here's the captain from Hamilton Parish, number 41, puts the ball on the spot. Fixes his captain's armband, adjusts himself, takes a few steps backwards, waits for the west whistle, and coolly and calmly slots it 
professional strike. Well, he's definitely led by example. That's the second penalty taken today by the captain, and he scored on both occasions. One all is now the penalty shootout. And we have Mr. Richardson, who uh, probably could have scored earlier today, just a little bit unlucky, taking the next shot for North Village. And there's Lime Green yeah. Boots. Don't <laughs> let him down today. No, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. <laughs> I, uh, I was told once that if you wear something... Um, that that's, makes you stand out, you better be pretty good. And uh, Mr. Richardson is definitely very good. Um, and he scores his second penalty. So now North Village are ahead 2-1 on penalties. And Hamilton Parish, the pressure has now been put back in their half. Player steps up. Ooh! Oh, and he buries beautiful, it. Beautiful! <laughs> he buries it. As it's now... And Mr. Botello. I can only describe his walk as cool and calm as he approaches the mark, takes the ball, puts it on his mark. I, I've noticed this gentleman, Mr. Botello, has had very calm nerves during the game. Let's see how he makes out. Yep, could have predicted that one. <laughs> he just gives a little fist pump, a little clutch in the air as he sends his team 3-2 ahead on penalty aggregate. Hamilton Parish. The pressure's been built back into their half. These guys walk to the penalty line like pros. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is, uh, you, you can just breathe in. The whole atmosphere here is ter tremendous, absolutely tremendous. And we're not being let down by the quality of football. Ooh, well, that one sneaks in the inside of the post as Hamilton Parish has now pulled themselves back 3-3 on aggregate in this penalty shootout. And now... We see just a little bit of conversation between one of the coaches and the referee. Maybe a little clarification being sought. The referee's back to his duties. Number nine for North Village. Um, I don't have his name in front of me. A smart gentleman in red and black shoes. And this one, I believe, hit the underbar and very unfortunate for Hamilton Parish goalkeeper. He did, if he guessed right, it just beat him. It hit off the under of the crossbar, comes out, and hits off his back and trickles into the net. So it's just a bit of unfortunate misfortune for the Hamilton Parish goalkeeper. Number 16, who's sporting a very stylish mohawk for Hamilton Parish, steps up, wants to make it 4 3, 4 4. Ooh, and it's saved! That's and it. that's it. North Village go through. That's it. Four three on penalties. North Village under the eight field champions. is being invaded by North Village supporters. And right now you couldn't tell if the Premier team had won or the under eights. Moms are running. Cameramen are coming. You, you really have to feel, you know, just a little, a little sorry for the Hamilton Parish players. Played very well, fought back from an only girl deficit. Um, the captain, I say, had an outstanding game for Hamilton Parish. And, I mean, a few balls hit off the, uh, the, the crossbar and could have had a different result. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know Noah Village, he laid it right now, uh, you know? Totally. Coming in and getting a championship. I, I, I'm pretty sure they got a championship last year. One or two last year, so, you know, they're living up to their name. Uh, looks like... Somerset, the Somerset girls made it to the finals. Uh, Somerset looks like they've been knocked out of the rest of the competition, so they'll have to go back to the drawing board right. and come back again next year and try again. Yeah, I believe that's the North Village uh, drum band starting up behind us as they celebrate their victory. You see Bubu Vuelas in the crowd. A true football atmosphere. If you're not here, get here and enjoy this wonderful Spectra that was being put on for. Just want to big up our sponsors and thank them again for making this whole thing possible. The Kappa 2012 Classic, XL, TBI, Butterfield Valley's Wholesale Distributors, Ace Insurance, Bank of Bermuda Foundation, Renaissance Re, Atlantic Medical International, Catlin Underwriting Ambition, Zurich International Limited, Electric Supply Limited, 
Barrett's, Amlin Bermuda, Oil Insurance Limited, Lobster Pot, Orbis Investment Management Limited, Tokyo Millennium, Corporation of Hamilton, Spa Water, Department of Youth Family and Sports, Telford Electric, Telford Electric, Telecom Bermuda, Fidelity Investments, Bermuda Sports Anti-Doping, and Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Bermuda Sports Network, bringing you the premier sports event today in Bermuda, the Kappa 2012 Classic. And we can see 